Do you find that you have either personal or financial goals that you would like to achieve, but you find yourself without enough time to achieve them? Well, today we are going to discuss three ways to find more time to achieve those goals. So let's get going. When we make a decision to improve our life, we may find either of these three barriers. Barrier number one, inertia. So imagine that you are used to sitting in the couch watching TV and doing nothing. To break that habit, to break that inertia, to get off the couch and start doing exercise, it requires an extraordinary amount of effort. So inertia is a powerful force. The other force is the people around you. There are friends and families who are, imagine, used to sitting with you in the couch watching whatever show and now all of a sudden you say well you know instead of sitting on the couch i'm going to go out and run today well your friends that are holding you back they may not even want you to succeed they would like you to stay with them fat and 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 don't make any improvement and the last thing that prevents us from improving ourselves is lack of time. So today we're talking about lack of time, how to build more time. Well, the first thing that I would like to talk about is this thing, our phones. Our phones are stealing so much of our time. I mean, these are wonderful tools that can increase our productivity. But at the same time, let's say I go into um, the metro station or, or the airport and I see people just scrolling 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 for hours you know that time could be better used or i see them playing a video game again for hours how about if people use that time to read a book you can read a book to this there is a kindle application or pdf or listen to a podcast or an audiobook so we can get rid of our we can turn this distraction into a tool that we can use in order to improve ourselves. The other major distraction in people's life is a TV. So I don't have a TV. I haven't had a TV for the past 20 years. And I believe that you don't need a TV as well. I mean, what? At the time of the Roman Empire, the government, the Caesar used to use the Colosseum in order to to entertain the masses. But now, today, we have Netflix and we have the news. I have a friend who has spent the last four years watching every piece of news about Donald Trump. What does she have to show for that time? Nothing. Nothing. So get rid of your TV. I mean, use that time for so many other things. Learn, try to spend time with your friends, whatever. There's a million more productive ways to spend your time. Distraction number three that is preventing us from achieving our goals. These are seen products or activities. So this could be um, taking drugs, alcohol, gambling, all these kind of things that, you know, they may be pleasurable for a moment of time, but the amount of time that you have to think of it and, and just get involved in drugs or alcohol or gambling is just enormous for the return that you get. In fact, you get nothing in return. Yes, you may get a little bit of entertainment or satisfaction for the moment, but if you are a person who is trying to get farther in your life, this these things is just not helping you out. So these are the three major uh, time killers, which is social addiction, the TV, and, and drinking, smoking pot, gambling, all these things. If you eliminate them from your life, you will have an enormous amount of time. And now, what will you do with that amount of time? How about continue reading, continue improving yourself, continue doing exercises, spending time with time, friends and family, working on your business. So these are the ways in which we can manipulate time in order to make it work for you. 
I tell you my downfall, I have been spending a lot of time in social media. And this is something that I'm fixing right now. So I'm spending a lot less time in social media and I'm spending that time working on my podcast, working on my YouTube video. So let me know, please, how are you wasting your time? And if you have an extra hour or two during the day, how will you better utilize it? 